the reach favours the striker Aguilar by a massive five inches. To introduce the fighters, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Spark Arena in Auckland, New Zealand for UFC Fight Night, Felder versus Hooker. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker holding a professional record, 18 wins, four losses, one draw. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at a Grozny Chester Republic, Russia, Zubara, Warrior, Jehuga. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A big martial artist holding a professional record, 17 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Longview, Texas, USA, Kevin, Angel of Death, Aguilar. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard shares the octagon with our featherweights. Thank you, Red. There's Zoe Vira to Hugo from Chechnya, taking on Kevin Aguilar from the States. Longview MMA, Team 515. Touch of gloves and they'll get straight to action. It so, was a very rare draw last time out for Tahugov over in Abu Dhabi in September. So what we're going to see from Kevin Aguilar here is he's going to allow the fight to come to him and he's going to start to catch, counter and parry. He's got really good defensive skills and he's very good at, at allowing his opponents to land, his shot, land their shots on his guard and then counter clean through theirs. I think a good jab as well is going to be valuable in this, in this fight because uh, Tukugov covers distance really quickly if he doesn't feel like there's a threat that he's running onto. I'll tell you what else is going to be valuable in this fight, a 94% takedown defense. That will be useful. Only been taken down once in 16 attempts, Kevin Aguilar. And we do know that Tahugov likes to mix his arts. As Heidi was telling us, he's been working out with Habib Namagomedov. I guess there was some takedowns in there when they were <laughs> training. But right now, Aguilar standing on the center of the octagon, throwing some feints, trying to get a read on the Chechen fighter. Something to keep an eye on with, with Tukugov. Every time you see him start to drift towards his, towards his right, a spinning back fist is likely going to be his setup. He's very good at kind of circling towards the lead foot of his opponent, and then as they're turning, he cracks them with that spinning back fist. And he'll throw that over and over again until he finds the range for it. Whereas Aguilar, he's much less of a risk taker, much more fund fundamentally sound with his skills. After his career hiatus, Tahugov brushed away the cobwebs, if you like, against Lerone Murphy. It has since surfaced. Uh, Javier Mendez said that he was sick going into that with an antibiotic, so they feel it affected his output. So this is a very important fight again, because they're almost kind of resetting, and this is where they start to march forward as a team. But he's got a very, very tough fight ahead of him in Aguilar. I, I think what we learned from the Moicano fight is that if, if you're able to safely pressure Tukhugov, then you can start to find you know, cracks in his defense that you can exploit. Whereas if he, if he sets his own pace, he's very difficult. I mean, he covers distance fast, he's very aggressive. Uh, and and if, he allows, if he's allowed to set his own pace, then he's gonna find his way into the fight with some of his wild techniques like that, covering distance with combination striking. Aguilar has three decisions in the UFC, but he really does have a history of stoppages. He was the LFC featherweight champion three times. He was the longest reigning LF, LFA champion, I'm sorry. Longest reigning LFA champion. Catch the all-new UFC Live each and every Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 2.30 Pacific, only on ESPN2. The weekly 30-minute show gets you primed for all the Saturday night action as well as the latest news and information from around the sport. UFC Live Fridays on ESPN2. Oh, big left hook. That sends Aguilar stumbling. He hasn't regained himself no, he yet. Hasn't. Massive uppercut oh. twice. Big power. Tukagov pouring on the pressure. Aguilar is covering here, but he's in a bad spot. He's taking Send some it. shots. He sends it to finish. He gets it. Wow. Tukagov gets the finish. Here down under.
big power. It was the left hook that started it. Caught Kevin Aguilar at the side of the head. Then the pressure gets poured on. He bounced back to his feet, but wasn't able to hold off that, uh, that oncoming. It was academic after the hook shots. Aguilar was just taking a shelling on his butt. Nice finish from Tehugo. Let's take a look at this, uh, this beautiful left hook that started the whole thing. Nice patience from both fighters, but bang, steps in with a powerful left hook. Aguilar bounces back to his feet, but then the pressure is on. And once uh, Tukhogov knows that you're hurt, beautiful uppercut through the guard, two uppercuts through the guard, another left hook drops him. And then Aguilar's not even looking at his opponent. He's trying to defend, he's on autopilot. Tukhogov is pouring on the pressure here. Mark Goddard's having a good look at uh, Kevin Aguilar's eyes here. And as soon as he sees he's out of the fight, steps in to save him really really nice look at this bang I mean right over the top of his guard caught him with that lead knuckle right on the side of the temple very very nice lovely stuff to who goes will march to the center of the octagon and have his moment when we return the new I at three minutes 21 seconds of the very first round declaring the winner by Chief K.O. Zubaira Warrior to Hugar. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Zubaira to Hugar. What a great performance, my friend. A big lead left hook that started it. What were the concerns coming in and what was your game plan? Uh, uh, about the left, left uh, hook. I, every day I'm working with this. Uh, every day. That's his, that's his best move with the left hook. So did you think the left hook would get the job done this evening? I saw fast because it's perfect when the left hook. <laughs> <laughs> and were you surprised that he bounced back to his feet straight away? Was there a concern that you were going to gas out and throw all your punches? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I, I know my boxing. My boxing one class better is my friend, my, my opponent. My opponent good fighter, good boxing. I know my box more better. <laughs> Well, you look fresh, you're uninjured. Would you like to be in here again soon? Uh, I, I want uh, next fight um, after one month, two months. No problem, top 10, top 15 opponent. I already no problem about this. I'm excited for you to see that test, my friend. Uh, I want to uh, thank you so much, my Abdurrahman, Murad, Rizman, everybody, Sandro, Salam Alaikum. Uh, I promise my uh, Dedushka. Grandfather. Grandfather, this is my win. So I'm in Russia. Dedushka, покойно дедушка, хочу посетить свою эту победу яркую. Я ему обещал до его смерти. Тебя не хватает, дорогой дедушка. Это посвящаю тебе всем, кто болел за меня. Чеченская республика, Дагестан, Ингушетия, Окленд. Thank you so much for everybody. Thank you so much. Habib, Habib, Islam, hey, братья, вам удачи. Habib, как обещал, видишь, первый раунд, нокаут. So basically, he dedicated this victory to his grandfather who passed away, and he was looking for his fights. And he said thanks to all the team who's been around, and thanks to Auckland. Ladies and gentlemen, Zubaira, Warrior, Tukugov.